speaking of Hawaii, there's one more interesting thing. Hawaii went through a phase where the Hawaii Tourism Authority was trying to promote Hawaii as a as like a business conference yeah. destination. A right? Mice, where mice people, destination, yes. Right, uh, yeah. And it failed. And they were really trying to do it in Japan, but it failed because the Japanese say the perception that you're going to Hawaii means you're not going to be on business working hard and being majime and doing what you're supposed to do to go to that conference because they all are going to think you're out golfing, which they probably would be, right? Yeah, and so it, the conference, it failed. You know, the conference program as well. I mean, in every conference program for, you know, big cheeses or big potatoes or whatever you call them, <laughs> there is, you know, one day or half a day for yeah. golf. Right, right, so, right, right, and everybody knows it. By the way, everybody knows it. Whereas in the U.S., they hold these these major business conferences and medical conferences in Las Vegas. Las of Vegas, all places. Yes. Yeah. All places. Yeah. No, but I think that for Hawaii, actually, they had uh, other problems as well. It it that definitely that was wasn't something. the only one. That was one. It yeah, wasn't yeah. the only one because uh, Hawaii, you know, they had been. I mean, Hawaii was the first desti overseas destination for the Japanese. And that happened in what 1956, was it? No, I or think I think it started know. after the Olympics because I don't think they were allowed to travel abroad. They were, right? Before just before the Olympics, when uh, Tokyo won, you know the um, yeah. what's that? Won the, 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 the right anyway. bid. Yes, they liberalized the overseas travel, and it was right. just a few years before the Olympics. Okay, uh, just you know warming up to to the the event. And so Hawaii was the very first overseas destination for Japan, which means that, I mean, every Japanese, you know, has been there at least, you know, I don't know, three, four, five times. Sometimes some people have been there 20 times. And when you, you know, you go to a place, the same place as many times, there are just as many things to do and see there. Right. And at right. the end of the day, so it wasn't only that, but I mean, a lot of other destinations, they began promoting themselves in uh, in uh, Japan very heavily. And suddenly Hawaii, you know, from a destination being a favorite destination, almost without any competitors, you know, it just was swimming in an ocean of competitors and everybody was trying to get that limited number of uh, overseas travelers here.